but uh, to start, interesting, yesterday in the House of Representatives, um, uh, Bob Ney described this or, or talked about this briefly yesterday in our newscast, but I don't think that we succeeded in capturing what really went on yesterday. Uh, Bob, Bob was fascinated by the process, you know. Um, when you vote in the House of Representatives, there's a 15-minute window open for a vote. And during the first 10 minutes, you simply kind of sit at your desk and push the yes or no button. Um, however, after you've done that, or after that 10 minutes, if you want to vote in the last five minutes, or if you want to change your vote, and it might just be the latter, if you want to change your vote, you have to take a, you have to, you have to get a card, a red card for I'm changing to yes, a, uh, or a changing to no, rather, a green card for I'm changing to red, yes, sign your name to it, walk up to the well of the, of the house, the, the, you know, the, this, Podium that's up at the front of the room, not where the speaker is, but down on the floor, and uh, and submit it, right? And give you know, give it to the clerk or whoever it is, or do whatever you have to do with it. Never done it, but uh, uh, Congressman Congressman um, Nay has done it many times, and he was trying to describe it yesterday. And what he said was amazing was that nobody did that. So anyhow, here's what here's what happened. The Republicans. Uh, passed a uh, Defense Authorization Act that would um, basically roll back the Civil Rights Act of 1964. And what they were trying to do was make it so that uh, defense contractors, particularly those in, uh, you know, uh, redneck backward states, could, uh, that is to say, states run by Republicans, um, uh, by redneck backward Republicans specifically. I mean, there are there are some Republicans who aren't totally terrible, um, but in any case, that they could that they could that they could uh, discriminate against gay people if they wanted, uh, gay, uh, lesbian, gay, transgender, whatever it may be. That you know they they could just do it. And uh, an amendment uh, by uh, Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney. He's a Democrat from New York was presented that would have reversed that. In other words, you no longer are free to discriminate. And, and see, the problem was that the, the discrimination legislation was written so broadly that it didn't say you can discriminate against gay people. What it said was basically the provisions of the 1964 Civil Rights Act, which has the word sex in it. And so that's been interpreted now by this administration and a number of courts to include gender identity, right? So we're talking about the 1964 Civil Rights Act, which not only protects women, but also protects African Americans and, and Native Americans and others. Um, but particularly, I mean, it was written for African Americans. Um, Republicans passed a law that basically nullified the 64 Civil Rights Act, which of course they've been trying to do forever. And so uh, the hero of this is Congressman Sean Patrick Maloney, although he was the unsuccessful hero. He submitted an amendment that would have undone that, and it passed with 217 yes votes over 206 no votes, and the clock ran out. They needed 213 votes to pass, and they only got 200, and, or to, to kill it, rather, uh, 213 to, to, uh, to pass, and that got 217, so it passed, right? But after the clock had expired, and nobody had walked down to the well to submit their little red or green card, suddenly a bunch of uh, six, re six Republicans changed their votes. And Kevin McCarthy was seen walking around the House basically twisting arms, offering, you know, whatever he's offering. I was going to say bribes, but, you know, I mean, uh, John Boehner used to actually walk around on the floor of the House and pass out checks. You can read about that in Bob Ney's book, Sideswiped. So anyhow, they, they, they were, you know, the, once the clock expires, that's supposed to be it, unless you want to vote in person, unless you want to come up and submit that card. And uh, seven Republicans changed their votes. Now, nobody knew who they were because they didn't come up and physically do it. But Standing Hoyer, who is the, you know, when, when uh, Nancy Pelosi was the Speaker of the House, he was the number two, he was the whip. Uh, he knew who they were, and he tweeted their names. So if any of these guys represent you, any of these right-wing Republican fools who just, who just stripped out of 
the National Defense Authorization Act, the a, a piece of uh, a really crappy Republican legislation that essentially reversed the 1964 Civil Rights Act for government contractors. If any of these names are familiar, you might want to call them and say hi and tell them, uh, you know, what you think. Their telephone number, uh, the telephone number for the con for the switchboard of Congress is 202-225-3121, a number you should write down and put on your refrigerator, 202-225-3121. And then you just say the name of the member of Congress, or if you're not sure, you give them your zip code or your state or whatever. Zip codes work best. Um, but I, I'm going to give you their names. It was uh, Congressman Darrell Issa in California, one of the real scumbags in Congress, and, and I think he's the wealthiest guy in Congress. Uh, his, his past includes, you know, like arrests for felonies and things like that. David Valadeo of California, Jeff Denham of California, Mimi Waters of California, Greg Walden of Oregon, he maintains his right-wing position because his daddy owns a whole bunch or owned. Um, maybe this has changed since I lived in Oregon, but at the time, uh, his daddy owned a whole bunch of uh, radio stations all across the eastern half of Oregon, and they all they all sang Greg Walden's praises all the time. He's the sole Republican in the, or at least used to be. I think he still is the sole Republican in the Oregon uh, Democratic or the Oregon uh, House contingency. David, this is, it's Greg Walden. He's one of the guys who changed his vote. One of these pond scum guys. David Young in Iowa and Bruce Poliquin of Maine. And um, uh, Victoria Jones in her news this morning uh, says that she's contacted all their offices and none of their offices have, requested, have responded to her request for comments. So if you call any of their offices at 202-225-3121, if you call any of their offices, um, that would be Daryl Issa, David Valadeo, Jeff Denham, Mimi Waters, Walters, excuse me, Greg Walden, David Young, and Bruce Poliquin. Uh, and you get any kind of an answer, give us a call. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to know what happened. So that said, um, the, the Republicans, this is, this is interesting. Uh, Maloney, the guy who had, you know, put forward the, the, the bill to take this out, right, the Democratic champion. He said he'd approached uh, Kevin McCarthy to urge regular order, in other words, to close the vote. And McCarthy said to him, get back on your own side of the aisle. And he said to McCarthy, what side of the aisle am I supposed to stand on to support equality? Well, obviously, the Democratic side. Uh, Maloney said easily a dozen Republicans on the floor uh, approached him and expressed disgust for what happened today. He said, if you look at the people who had the guts to vote, yes, you'll get an idea of who that was. Uh, Rep Representative Charlie Dent, the Republican from Pennsylvania, was at the head of that list. McCarthy went down and talked to him, and Dent told McCarthy to get lost. So Dent did the right thing. You could thank him. And then McCarthy went around and twisted everyone else's arms. So you might want to also let Kevin McCarthy know what you think of him. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.